You're probably gonna think I'm crazy. Well, I guess you usually do because... Well, before I play about 30 minutes worth of craziness, let me just say, you're, you're gonna think I'm crazy. I vlog every single day. What am I even looking for? Oh, that's right. Every single day. And yesterday I missed an upload, so I went live. And I do love going live because I, it gives me a chance to really talk to you guys in the moment, be in the moment, and things like that. Let me just say, by missing that one day, it kind of screws everything up. For example, today it's, what time is it? It's probably about four o'clock. It is 418. I went to the auction with my girlfriend. We bought a lot of stuff. We got a lot of good deals. I got better deals than her because I got some negotiating skills. Not trying to brag, just stating facts. But there were a lot of moments that we could have recorded or I could have recorded, but I didn't. So now I gotta catch up, get today's video done. And that's why I'm crazy because I make a video every day and then I miss a day and then that screws everything up and then I, I can't do the vlogging thing. It screws me up. That's why I gotta do a video every day to stay on top of my game. I'm going to pick up my dirt bike. As you guys know, I usually use my trailer, but today I'm actually gonna do it a little bit more dangerous way. There are a lot of benefits of not taking the trailer, but there are also some drawbacks. The dangerous one comes up in my mind first. I think it's because my health's on the line. Or my well-being, I guess. This is always fun, too. so many vehicles in this driveway. Does anybody want a BMW? I'm at Jake's house. What I haven't informed you guys about yet is I have parts for my dirt bike. I have a couple in here. I actually want to do a test on my bike. A couple of you viewers have been saying that my bike is running lean and that I should check it out before I blow it up. Jake blowing his bike up twice has finally given me an incentive to actually check this bike out, tear it apart, and see what's going on. If I can save myself a few hundred bucks, then let's do it. Saying that, I'm picking up my bike today. Holy smokes, it shrunk. What the heck happened? This thing's tiny. And it changed into a Yamaha. No, there's my bike. <laughs> Baby, I'm here to pick you up for some preventative maintenance. There are some times when I don't want to record that process because I know once I get the camera out, something's bad about to happen. Luckily nothing happened. I'm in the parts store's parking lot. What better place to tear my bike apart and get the parts I need for the tests I'm going to use, well the tests I'm going to make on this bike. So I have my handy dandy tools right here. All I have to do is take the expansion pipe off. The boys definitely put Loctite on these things. Yeah, Loctite's good stuff. Permatex, if you're listening, send me out some stuff. I'd appreciate it. They hooked up Adam LZ with like a pallet full of that stuff. Yeah, I forgot a pair of pliers. So now I gotta figure out how I can take those springs off. Hey, do you guys have a pair of pliers by chance that I can use for a second? Oh, you got a whole toolbox, huh? Wow, you guys are nice. Can I take the whole thing out? Oh, well, I don't wanna, I'm not gonna steal anything. I just wanna. I come in here enough. Oh, right, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> they let me borrow this whole thing of tools. I didn't know they did that. Okay, we're gonna have to try to make these work. Oh yeah. Beautiful. This is a good thing that they got going here. I hope nobody takes advantage of it and starts taking free tools and screwing it up for the rest of us. That really helped me out. This is the first time ever I've ever used this as a dirt bike stand. Thank you, Matt. Here is the situation. I am going to tear this bike apart. I want to check this engine for any leaks. You guys say it's running lean. I'm going to believe you. It is running better than it was by just adjusting the carburetor, but I do want to see if there are any leaks throughout the engine. I did buy a new carburetor boot, and I bought a couple other parts that are in that box. But as you guys know, I didn't upload yesterday. I wanna give you guys some entertainment, so we're going live right now, which was yesterday, confusing stuff. Tomorrow is payday, Friday, it's a good day. Let's tear this bike apart.
see the KTM is torn apart relatively, well, about halfway. I just gotta tear the back of it off. The test involves me clogging the intake and the exhaust, and then the spark plug hole as well, forcing some pressure in there, and then squirting some soapy water around. I'll explain more as we get further on, just know that I have to tear the bike apart. Well, more than it already is. Remember how this thing was all bent up? It still is bent up, but not nearly as bad as it was. I also put a little bit of weld on this pipe as well. But what I did was I built my own tool. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I don't like buying the tools they sell because A, they're too expensive, and B, I love building my own stuff, and C, not only do I get to put my name on it, but I also enjoy the process. I love the challenge. A lot of unintelligent people call me cheap. There were people growing up that always called me cheap and now they can't afford to go to a movie. Be careful what you say. I simply like to challenge my mind, and that's how I get my kicks. Anybody can say, hey, give me a Big Mac. Others sit down, make their own sandwich, and enjoy the process, and then like a lot better sandwich. I'm Chef Boyardee in this situation. I got some parts. I got some pieces. What's better than pieces and parts? Now it's time to build my tool, the 3D Machines tool. This is the exhaust side of the engine. All I'm going to do is take this plug here that I purchased, slap that in there, and create an airtight seal. Now I'm going to take that freeze plug and drill a hole into it. You like my new vodka bottle, I mean water bottle? Works, works really good. The spark plug is in, and you guys saw me putting the freeze plug or the drain plug or the expansion plug, whatever you want to call the exhaust side, you saw that. So now I'm just going to pump this whole engine up to a certain PSI, probably around 7 PSI. And then I'm simply going to look for engine leaks. I should not see any air leaks, any bubbles once I put soapy water on. If I see that, that's bad. But that's a good thing that we find it now and not later when the engine blows up. Jake, I'm sorry, but I'm glad I learned from your mistakes. Well, my silly little tool revealed that the crank seal is bad. I figured it was bad, it was wet. If I knew the crank seal was bad, I would have ordered one before I even made this test and did this test. Because that's the biggest leak, and that's preventing us from finding any other leaks. Hopefully that's the only leak, I'll, I'll go ahead and buy that. And that'll prevent it from running lean, like a lot of you dirt bike enthusiasts don't want this bike to run, which I appreciate. I appreciate you leaving your comments in the comment section below and giving me your tips because I'm new to the two-stroke life. And whatever you teach me, I can potentially teach hundreds of thousands of people. So I'll start with you, bad boy. It's a start. That's how a lot of my projects are. You kind of get, you know, a little bit of headway and then you get, a, you know, two steps forward, one step back. That's how it goes. It's dark. It's light. I'm sweaty. Time for a bath. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out.